In 2020 alone, wildfires burned an estimated 4.3 million acres, damaged over 10,000 structures, and caused 33 fatalities. Even as the dangers of wildfire increase, California continues to face a severe shortage of individuals qualified to combat these natural disasters. I applaud the Forestry and Fire Recruitment Program for doing the innovative and critical community-based work to expand California's forestry and fire workforce. The Forestry and Fire Recruitment Program is a nonprofit organization that's dedicated to helping the people currently and formerly incarcerated in California's fire camps transition over into gainful employment. We do this in three main ways. We provide inreach and support to the people currently incarcerated in California's fire camps. The second thing that we do is we operate the FFRP hub. Once people come home, whether virtually or in person, what FFRP does is provide a space for people to explore the career. In our FFRP hub, we operate a wildland fire academy. We operate weekly virtual trainings. Um, weekly PT sessions. We help them apply to these careers. We help them get the certifications. We help them interview or prep them for interviews. We also take them out networking to different fire stations and different fire agencies. We provide social service supports. And in our tier three, our career training program, we provide in-class trainings, online trainings, and actually on the field trainings. Due to the pandemic, there was an increased demand for our work. The state of California released low level offenders. And those people ended up being in fire camp. There were thousands and thousands of people coming home from fire camp who needed support. Because of that, FFRP is always at capacity. FFRP is currently at capacity. There are more people out there to support than FFRP can provide support for. We're proud to be graduating 35 participants today. Good day, everyone. I'm happy to be here um, for the FFRP graduation for Cohort 2. Um, this is not just a celebration of myself and my accomplishments, but also of my team, leadership, and everything that FFRP encompasses. Um, this is my mother, Linda Ison. As you know, I'm Herbert Ison. Um, this is definitely a poignant moment for me because I definitely came a long way and I definitely wouldn't be where I am today without my FFRP family as well as my actual family. So it's only appropriate that I have the, the very person that, that created me and has helped me get to this point as well. Thank you. So you want to give a brief what this moment means to you? Well, I just wanted to say that I'm very proud of you, that you have become the man that you've always wanted to be and in the field that you've always wanted to be. And I wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is John Acuna. I'm a full-time employee with FFRP, Hand Crew Buffaloes. I want to give thanks to Chief Royal Ramey for his program and FFRP, the Forestry Fire Recruitment Program, because honestly, man, I remember him coming to prison when I was in camp and I believed in what he said and his vision. And I came to his program and he dialed me in and he got me on a path and success to a road to a career that I never thought I could be in. And I couldn't have done it without that man and his program. So just so you guys no, she's releasing me to the fire world. You can thank this woman for holding down the floor while I'm gone. Come on. Come here, Papa. This is my eldest daughter, Ruby Rose. The middle one, Aviana Monroe. Come here, Papa. And then my, my little guy, my inheritor, my inheritor, Isaiah Joseph. Thank you guys for everything. Love you, FFRP. Buffaloes. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Brandon, for inviting me to celebrate with you all today. During a tumultuous year, in the middle of a pandemic, the 35 of you have managed something incredible. You have completed 120 hours of work in class, virtually and in the field, all while many were navigating returning home, supporting family, and building this new career. And this year, your community will rely on you as credentialed wildland firefighters. Some even joining FFRP's very own Buffalo Hand Crew. As you are called upon to keep us all safe during the 2021 California wildfire season, we are so proud of your accomplishments and so grateful for your service. Stay safe out there and happy graduation day.
One thing that the pandemic showed was that the state of California has a very high dependency on incarcerated people as laborers. When COVID hit, thousands and thousands of low-level offenders were released from prison. What you ended up finding was that those people were people who were incarcerated in the state's fire camps. And California didn't have enough firefighters. One of the things that we're expecting is 2021 to be the worst wildfire season on record. FFRP is launching its own private firefighting department, the Buffaloes. We are here as the Buffaloes to go show the state of California that there is a way to create equity in this space. There is a way to be responsible in this space. We can increase the amount of women and people of color in the fire service. We can prevent the severity and frequency of wildfires in this sector. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Ah! When you talk about the Buffalo Soldiers, you're talking about a tradition of people who are here dedicated to the people, the land, helping out their communities, even though their communities have a different view of them. We are so thankful to the Michelson 20MM Foundation for contributing to make this cohort possible and encouraging the vision of the Buffalo Fire Department. With 20MM support, we have been able to make the Buffalo's vision a reality.